Um, from Andrew, div- dear divine master of both what can and cannot be. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I like that. I'm, it's not on my business card yet, but it will be now. I've been with my girlfriend for over five years, and all I hear from other people is, when are you two getting married? My typical answer is that it isn't worth getting the government in the mix when I already have everything I need. We don't have kids yet, but are planning to start late next year. We both share almost identical values, respect the importance of family, and are still very much in love. We, we're also not very religious, so the idea of a ceremony would mostly be for show. Also, we both get along great with the in-laws, so there's no family drama. Other than a tax break and shared health insurance, what could be a good reason to be recognized as a married couple by the state? Love the show. We watch you guys every day. All right. You asked. So I'm going to answer, get married. Okay. And it has nothing to do with the government. All that stuff, all that like hyper rational stuff is missing the point that, you know, you can rationalize actual life away. Not all of life is rational. Some of life is inexpressible, right? That's why we have art to express the things that are inexpressible. That is also why we have ceremonies, to express the things that are inexpressible. I know this because I made the same mistake. When I got married, I was living with my girlfriend who has now been my wife for 38 years as of May 31st. Um, and I was living with her. I thought, why should I get married? You know, But you know, I thought, well, you know, I, we want to have kids and I want the kids to have my name and you know, we want to be a family and all that. So I'll get married. And the minute the ceremony was over, I thought, ah, I have just accidentally done the smartest thing in my life. Years later, when I was baptized, I made the same stupid mistake because I am nothing if not stubborn in my stupidity. It's like when you have stupidity, you want to hold on to it with everything you've got. And when I was baptized, I thought, I'm I'm already a Christian. Why do I need to be baptized? But it's a ceremony. I'll go do the ceremony. The minute I stood up from the font, I thought, oh, my God, I did this. I made the same stupid mistake. Thank God he dragged me over the finish line and got me to do this thing. The thing that marriage expresses is inexpressible. The thing the ceremony expresses is inexpressible. Do it any way you want. Do it with anybody you want. It's not about the state. It's not about the tax break. It is going through that ceremony that expresses with your that physically expresses the inexpressible, that binds you to your bride and makes you a family and makes you a man. You will find it out two seconds after the ceremony is over. Do it, especially if you're going to have kids. You asked, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right.